and welcome to another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is one that I got asked by somebody who'd been to one of the, the data conferences and had seen the term data observability on a number of the software vendor stands. So was getting confused and, and therefore emailed me a question to say, what's the difference between data quality and data observability? I thought this was a really great question because it wasn't one that, I'll be honest, I'd given an awful lot of thought to, because as you know, I mainly help my clients in the early stages of data governance with the training and the, the people side of things. Um, and so I know a fair bit of data quality, but I hadn't really given much thought to data observability. So um, I, I took some time to have a think about it and, and um, do some reading. And I think whilst you know there are you know, people online saying they're two totally separate things, I think there is some overlap. So generally, data quality, I'm sure you all understand, is the thing that I talk about an awful lot with data governance. This is when we're trying to talk about um, is the data good enough to use. So is it fit for purpose? And we do that by measuring a number of different things, often called data quality dimensions. And by this, I mean things like accuracy. Um, so accuracy is, it does it mimic the real world thing? So if you have me as a, as a client, you might want to check that you've got my name, address, and date of birth right by validating that on an external source, maybe like the electoral register. So that would be checking accuracy. You might want to check completeness. So is the data to there or or is it a blank or perhaps you know you might want to check validity um, and by that you would mean you know is it um, a, a valid date format um, so those are the kind of things that we look at when we're looking at data quality and I think it's fair that um, when we look at data quality we're very much looking at point in time usually the point at which the consumer is using that data now data ob observability is is taking that kind of perhaps like more helicopter view and looking at data as it travels through your um, data pipelines and between systems. And it's it's looking for kind of some of the same things, detecting anomalies, errors, issues. It's looking for things that might go wrong as the data is moved and, and transferred from between systems and transformed. So um, instead of looking at the point of time, so maybe once a week, once a fortnight, this is continuous monitoring um, to check that things are going correctly. Um, but much with data quality, we don't measure it and not tell anybody. You would have metrics and alerts. Um, data observability is also very much concerned about where the data's gone and where it's going to. So looking at its lineage, looking at how it's it's gone, how it's been transformed along the way. Um, and also would look at, uh, at perhaps performance analysis of those pipelines of data um, and, and the data processes being done on them. So as you, I, I think they are separate things, but I think it's fair to say there is some overlap because in a lot of the monitoring, you would be again looking to see that the data is good enough to be used in those processes. So um, it's not as easy to say they're different things. I, th I think they are different, but there is some gray area in the middle where some of the activities you'd consider data quality would also be done um, under data observability. So I hope that has helped. Um, if it has, please help me and my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by liking and sharing this on your choice of social media. And if you've got a question you'd like me to answer, just email it in to questions at nicolaascom.com.